Hey guys, how are you doing? Let me know down below. Today, we're going over the new NVIDIA app, basically just what it offers and some features that it has. On the home page, we have pretty much just a whole bunch of advertisements for other products. In the driver segment, it's pretty much exactly like GeForce Experience from before. Newest driver up top, currently installed driver at the bottom. And it does show you quite a bit about what is in the new drivers, which I know that Experience did that before, but it's a whole lot more transparent now. In the graphics tab, we have program settings and global settings. And in program settings, it's pretty much what you would expect. You can click on a game, change the value, and a lot of you guys might be wondering if this is even good to use, and honestly, no, not really. It does have a lot of good things going for it. If you drag the slider all the way over, there's only a few things that I would really change. One being the frame cap limit, for example, and then another being the rendering mode. But outside of that, it's really not too, too bad, but it's obviously not the absolute best. Under global settings, we do have a few more options here, but for the most part, you shouldn't really have to concern yourself with them. Something that you could try is image scaling that might be able to help boost some of your frames. So the way that you do that is just turn it on. And then the best way to know what is best for your system is just by testing around. I can't really tell you what is the best for you. And then finally under settings, we have some system information. We have the shadow play overlay right here. You also have the ability to automatically download drivers. And then lastly, at the bottom here, you do have access to the NVIDIA control panel. It isn't fully integrated like everyone has been talking about, but it has been integrated in the sense that you have easy access to get to it. Now, the question that I have a lot of people ask me is, is this worth using for better performance? And I'll tell you right now, probably not, no. As of right now in the beta, there isn't really anything all that special about using the new NVIDIA app. I will say the new shadow play overlay has been probably the biggest improvement that I have seen so far, specifically for the statistics section. Like if you go on over to customization, for example, you can show what you want and you can also change how the HUD looks. So there's definitely a lot of good customability and the whole UI of, of everything is a lot simpler and easier to use. There really is nothing too too special about this app and until it gets out of the beta phase I really doubt we'll see any huge improvements compared to just the standard GeForce Experience and NVIDIA control panel. As of right now, it's base usage. It doesn't really take up any CPU or GPU, and it's base usage is around 210 to maybe 220 megabytes, which really isn't all that much. And compared to the GeForce Experience, GeForce Experience has a resting rate of around 150 megabytes. So the new app is a little more resource intensive, and I'm not sure why. I do have Shadowplay turned on on both of them. So somewhere along the way, the new app does take up slightly more memory. And a key factor that you should know is that you can't have both of these installed at the same time. If you install the new Ooh, app, it will get rid of GeForce Yeet. Experience. Should you use the new app? Probably not as of right now. Once again, don't just completely throw it out the window. It is still in beta. They're going to be putting a lot of good work into it. Just your standard GeForce Experience and NVIDIA Control Panel will be plenty good enough. With that, everyone, have a good one. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.